Good afternoon, girls and boys. It's Julie coming to you from the Amherst branch of the Cumberland Public Libraries. And look what I brought with me today. Does anybody know what this stuff is? <sighs> You're right, it's cotton candy. What do we do with cotton candy? We eat it? Are you sure? Does it taste good? Mmm, it does taste good. But you know what? Today, Excuse me, I got it stuck in my throat. Today, instead of eating the cotton candy, we're going to do some science experiments with it. What is cotton candy made from? Does anybody know? It's not made from cotton. It's not made from fabric. That's right, it's made from sugar. Can we just take sugar in a bowl and mix it up with a spoon and, and make cotton candy? No, that doesn't work. Cotton candy is flavored sugar or colored sugar that, I guess it's not flavored, yeah, sometimes it's strawberry flavored. So it's sugar that they put into a special machine and the machine blows lots of air through it and it spins around and around and around and around and then the sugar flies out and it forms these little pieces that all stick together and it looks just like cotton balls and it comes in different flavors and different colors and it's very soft. Ooh, there's three in there. So we're going to do some tricks with this today. And maybe if there's anything left, maybe Greg and I will eat it when it's all finished. We'll have to see what's left. So, what happens when you put sugar in water? That's right. I heard somebody say it. Let's see. I have a glass of water, or a bowl of water here. And I have some cotton candy. And I'm going to put it into the bowl of water. And what do you think is going to happen to it? I heard somebody say it. Let's watch and see. Look at that. Can you see it? It's on a pink table, so it might be a little hard to see. How about if we take a little bit of the blue one, because maybe that will show up better. So if you put spun sugar, because that's what cotton candy is, it's, it's sugar that has been spun around. If you put it into water, it dissolves. And if you can see that, the water's a little bit blue and a little bit pink. And if those colors mix together, we're going to end up with a purple color. So that's what happens when cotton candy goes in water. But I'm going to show you a couple of neat things because I have water in this jug and I have something else here. I have cooking oil. What do you think will happen to cotton candy if you put it in oil? Let's see. Pour some oil in here. Okay. Take a little bit more because I want to save a lot for this container. Okay, so we put oil in the bottom. A little bit more in there. Let's put pop, pop. Okay, so now we saw that sugar or cotton candy in water dissolves. What's going to happen if we put cotton candy in oil? Do you see anything happening to it? Is it dissolving like it did in the water? It's not dissolving. The oil is actually absorbing. It means that the cotton candy is sucking up the oil, but it's not dissolving. And the funny thing about this is the oil, it's making, it's changing the texture of it. Like, when we look at it like this, it's very easy to pull it apart. Once it's got oil in it, it becomes very gooey ooh, plop, and very sticky. So if we put that all the way down there, I'm just going to grab a napkin for my fingers because oil is messy. And I should have brought something that I could poke that down with. But there we go. Let's see. Now if I pick it all up, oh, look at that. It all came apart. There we go. Thanks, Greg. So if we push this all the way down in here, did it dissolve? It didn't. You can see that the cotton candy has all stayed together. It didn't dissolve, but it changed its texture. It doesn't look the same anymore. Let's have a look. This is what cotton candy usually looks like. And this is what it looks like in the jar. Let's see if I can get that out and show you. Ew, 
It kind of looks like jello now. It doesn't look like, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to take it out at all. All right, so cotton candy and water dissolves. Cotton candy and oil changes texture, but it doesn't dissolve. What's going to happen if we put water in the bottom of the jug? And then we pour oil on the top. Now we've mixed oil and water before in our experiments and you see that the, the oil floats to the top. So I'm gonna just put this all in here. And you'll see lots and lots of bubbles. Okay, so we're just gonna give that a second to see if the bubbles will settle. And what do you think is going to happen to the cotton candy when I put it in here? When it goes in the oil, what's it going to do? Is it going to dissolve or is it going to change texture like it did there? I think you're right. I think it's going to change texture. But the next question is, I'm going to do some pink and some blue. I'm going to get lots of both colors here. And so we're going to put it in the oil first and see what happens. And then we're going to push it through the oil down into the water. And we're going to see what happens because the cotton candy is going to get coated by the oil. And we're going to see if it will still dissolve in the water. So let's put a great big ball of it in there. Okay. Ooh. I might have put too much liquid in there. Let's see. So we're going to so there's what's happening in the oil. It's getting all covered. Do you see some air bubbles? I see some air bubbles happening there because there's air inside the cotton candy. You see, they're bubbling right there. Now what's gonna happen if I push this down into the bottom? Do you see all the air bubbles releasing? So the cotton candy is still a little bit jellied like because it changed the texture in the oil but ooh, it's actually quite solid now all right so let's see if I, nope, I don't know that I can get this out I'm gonna get my hands a little messy here just to show you oh it feels really slimy look what can you see that it looks really slimy so now if we take oil or take some cotton candy and okay so we're going to take some cotton candy i'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to dip the cotton candy in the oil first and then we're going to put it in the water and see what happens to the stuff on the inside because the cotton the oil is only going to get on the outside so now the outside it has has the oil coating but we're going to go into this bowl and see what happens when we put it in the water. Did you see what happened? All of the cotton candy that was on the outside stayed there, but all of the cotton candy that was on the inside dissolved. And it makes the weirdest feeling stuff. It doesn't smell very good either in the oil. But it's making really slimy stuff. So if you were looking to make your own kind of slime at home, you could do this. If you're looking to see things dissolve, you can just add it to the water. And if you just want a yummy treat, you can actually just buy some of this and put it in your tummy. Because as soon as you put the cotton candy in your mouth, it get, mixes with the saliva in your mouth and it melts and disappears, doesn't it? So that's what happens when cotton candy and oil and water mix. And I'm going to have another taste of this stuff. I'm going to say have a great day, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.